I am here. I have got, I'm like, I'm doing a pizza night prep. Let me just move this prep part out of the way. Yeah. Because I did all my veggies earlier today before our Mother's Day celebration. Because it was a lot. I had a lot. And my sister was so generous with her house and her time. And she cooked this beautiful meal. And of course, I was like, what can I bring? And she's like, nothing, nothing, nothing. She's already got it planned out, which is fine. You know, I mean, I'm just really blessed to have somebody, you know, to have my mom still here and to have my sister and my nieces and nephews and, you know, in-laws to hang out with. So that was, um, that was kind of fun today. And I did have plans, like as I was prepping, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go live with my prep on TikTok. And then I am going to, um, then I'm going to move over to Facebook Live on Quaint and Cozy KC. And that did not happen, you guys, because I had so much stuff to prep. And I'll just kind of like show you a little bit. I have got my uh, mushrooms. Let me just move the camera just a little bit closer because again, I have everything technically prepped and uh, I don't necessarily need to cut anything else. So let's get that out of the way. We can kind of probably move this up. Oh, whoops. A little bit more okay so you can see I've got baby bell mushrooms I've got green onions I've got green onions I've got red onions and I've got green peppers so basically a couple of these things I kind of had left over like kind of waiting around. and I was like oh my gosh I've got to hurry up and use these things you know how it goes because groceries hey people joining groceries are very high right now and I know I talk about that in in um all of my lives I talk about how high groceries are and again not that we should be wasting food even if groceries are cheap but it happens and you don't feel so bad You're like eh, I just spent $20 on groceries this week it's not a big deal but when those when that same amount of groceries turns out to be about $75 or 30 50 dollars all of a sudden it's a problem right and so that's kind of the conundrum I was in because I ended up this past week or last week I was cooking a lot, but I had so many ingredients because I was cooking down um, ingredients that I had the week before because I'll do that sometimes. I'll kind of buy for, um, I go shopping every week, but I buy like uh, for enough for every 10 days. So I hadn't gone through everything yet. And then I had a couple of times where I went out because I had like social things. And so I was like, oh man, like I'm not, you know, I'm not eating at home. So a few times this past week. So I was like, okay, I've got to do something. And I had my pizza stuff and I was like, oh yeah. I've got pizza. So I was in Aldi's last Sunday and I was like running around. I was looking for pizza crust, you know, like the kind, the art, the pre-made pizza crust. I'm not rolling out any dough, you know, the kind you can get. It's like, I'm in Kansas City, so it's about maybe $4 for three. And um, so I, I couldn't find it. I had to go to Hy-Vee uh, and get that. But I did what I did find though at Aldi's, I found flatbread. So they have these flat, this flatbread pizza thing that they do, and it's long. It's like a rectangular pizza, but I don't like to cook flatbread like that because I feel like when you've got that much weight on the pizza in the middle, it all, even if you can get a nice crust on it, it always falls apart because it's just too heavy. So I like to cut these in half. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm sorry, like all of a sudden it started raining. Um, I'm going to eat one of these squares tonight, but I'm going to kind of prep both of them and then I'll probably eat one tomorrow for lunch. But I do like to do them in the squares. I just I know that they have round um, they have round flatbread, but I just prefer the square because then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it pizza roller, cut it into fourths, and you know for me the pizza roller is a very very I'll put this over over here important part of my kitchen utensils because it's so versatile. Like I use that pizza cutter for everything, not just pizza. I'll use it for pizza. I'll use it for like frittatas. I'll use it for anything where it's like a thin kind of thing and there's cheese. I'm using that pizza cutter just because it's a lot easier than trying to like, you know, do like, like a knife or something like that. So I've been known to use pizza cutters on flat cuts of that scallopini cut of chicken. Hey, I'm rolling it with a pizza cutter because sometimes, sometimes I feel like the meat cleaver and maybe it's because I'm just too aggressive with the meat cleaver. Sometimes it's a little too much and it's, it's not even, but I get that pizza roller in there again it's a really flat surface nothing I wouldn't do that on chicken thighs but like a flat scallopini oh here comes the pizza roller that's what I'm doing and I like the pizza roller because it is affordable you can get it at like the Dollar Tree Walmart like you can get this thing for like under five bucks unless you go super fancy but I don't go fancy I go for whatever like sometimes on certain things I'm like oh I just want to kind of price up but for the most part I am using what I can afford and I'm not you know deviating, deviating from that 
Now in my second pan, I have got spinach and garlic. And let me just go ahead and I'm like, wait a minute. I haven't, I gotta turn that burner on. I wanted to make sure with that spinach, I didn't burn it. So I had gone to, hy not Hy-Vee, I'd gone to, I think it was Walmart a couple of weeks ago. And I, you know, I got some spinach. And if you watched one of my lives, you saw that I cooked with the spinach. I made a, uh, a, chi a salad with uh, chicken in it. Like I had seasoned chicken. I think it was kind of like a, um, like a paprika seasoned chicken. And I put it on a bed of lettuce and I talked about how for people that are not big salad eaters but are trying to eat more greens, doing something like that, like slicing uh, cuts of meat or some kind of protein onto the lettuce and just making it flat instead of putting it in a big salad bowl and intimidating, just putting it like, you know, on a plate is a lot easier. And so that was the spinach that I used. So I go in there and I'm looking at the spinach. And again, this is why I like to do a baby mix because with a baby mix, the stuff's gonna last a lot longer. So I went through and again, it's pre-washed, but you know, I'm gonna wash it again. I washed it and I saw a lot of the leaves. There were some that were kind of like, you know, looking kind of weird, but a lot of them did not. So what I did was is I cut I cut the stems off of them and um, what I, I and the great thing about the great thing about spinach is you can cook it down so I'm cooking down the spinach with my garlic and what I'll now if, if I were feeling super super creative I would kind of make it like a pizza Florentine and put that spinach on top but I'm not going to do that that spinach is gonna be because I've got um, I still have some leftover bread so I'm gonna use that spinach as sandwiches tomorrow and I've got like a nice um, pesto also that can go really well with that and I'm look, kind of looking forward to that I've got like an olive pesto that's gonna go really well with that spinach and then I'll probably will serve it with um, some crinkle fries because I was able to find crinkle fries on sale at Walmart a couple weeks ago so I was like oh I definitely gotta get some crinkle fries and so that I'm just gonna kind of do like a bistro feel to it. and I've got some berries and I still have some of my graham cracker my graham cracker truss my, sorry my um, graham cracker crust, I still have some of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I've gotta use the rest of that up because it's gonna go stale pretty soon. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna use that in my desserts for the next uh, couple of days because I do have the berries and what I'll probably do, and I, I can go live and do it. I don't think I'm gonna cook the berries down like I did uh, last week. I think what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna be really a really simple berry because we're coming into the end of the school year, right? For a lot of people, whether you're a teacher, a student, You've got students around that you're supporting and everything you're taking care of. And so things have to be simple because we're just all trying to make it. We're running around trying to get to the concert, the spring concerts on time. And so you need simple food if you're not trying to be in the drive through because, you know, the drive through can get really, really expensive. We're not trying to do a lot of takeout because that can get expensive in, in another way. And, you know, sometimes it's filled with salt and all kinds. of. And again, I do love me some salt. But, you know, if you're trying to kind of watch your health, you don't want to be doing that. Um, every day so I'm gonna really be emphasizing the really simple meals I was talking to some friends yesterday because I went to a graduation party because it's I mean every other week is a graduation party probably for the next you know month or so uh, we're gonna have a lot of graduation parties uh, going on I was talking to them and I was kind of like you know the, the how I'm doing this platform and I'm slowly rolling into it and slowly kind of you know getting like getting my quaint and cozy KC Facebook together I've had that page for over a year but you know I'm making changes to it and and rolling out and working on another podcast kind of thing and and you know my blog like all these things and I'm slowly rolling things out right because it's 2024 and I feel like the slow roll just getting you know what you can and doing what you can and not panicking like you know 2014 we we're all like I got to be on eight different platforms and go but now I feel like people are like okay th these are the platforms these are the three or four platforms I, I I'm gonna be on it. I'm gonna super focus on one and then you know do some ancillary stuff on the other not post you know every day on 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 some so you know we were talking and everything i'm, I'm getting i'm getting to the point of the story we're talking and i said you know i just don't want to do that complicated food in my mind i was like oh and i could do this complicated food and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be this and it's going to be that and i thought maybe 15 years ago that was like really my jam and i do like some good gourmet food but but i feel like right now and and this part of my life it just turned 50 last month i feel like I'm being called to take simple things and turn them into like, you know, gourmet experiences. And when I mean gourmet experiences, I don't mean you got to spend a lot of money or do a lot of work on them. It just means that you already have it. Like this spinach, I had it and I had to, I have to eat it this week or it's going to go bad. And I didn't necessarily want to keep, you know, eating it as like a cold salad. So I'm, you know, I'm using it up and it's going to kind of be part of like the sandwich, like 
a sandwich that I'm, I'm going to um, that I'm going to use. So again, just stuff like that. You can you can create these really great experiences with stuff you already have. I've got some couscous in like from Aldi's. Okay, just to let you is from Aldi's. And you know sometimes you know with all these stuff, I it's like like some of the like the rices and the couscous and stuff. You kind of have to read the directions because it's not a standard like pour like boil the water, pour in, you're done. There's some, a couple steps. Not too bad, but you know once you get used to it. And I was thinking like what can I do with this couscous, right? And of course, my first thing was like, oh, I can put it, I can put chicken on the bed of the couscous. I can use, use it as a regular side. I can make the couscous, the entree, and then like, you know, all these things. And uh, something I already have in, something I already have in my um, pantry. And again, very, like it's not very expensive at, at Aldi's or some other place. I got mine, again, I'm in Kansas City, for like under $3. I think it was under $3. So... Again, these are things you can use to feed uh, multiple people, and um, and I also use like a I also do like a chick it's like a chicken vermicelli thing that like vermicelli rice or something like that. Again, that's another great one because you can use that rice and um, you know you put like that that rice down. Then you can just put do like really some thin slabs of chicken. Like it doesn't have to be huge chicken. And something else I also like to do. And sometimes people look at me funny, but those chicken tenders that cost you seven dollars, you guys. You can give so much variety with those chicken tenders. It just depends on how you season them. So if you kind of want something that's a little bit more um, with the seasonings and all that stuff, if it's a little bit uh, more um, savory inspired, then, you know, you can kind of, uh, you know, season it with like basil and thyme and rosemary, right? That's what I do. I'll put like a little bit of oil. I'll season it with basil, thyme and um, rosemary with like a little bit of lemon and then that's like a savory kind of thing like I, that's what I would do if I was like if I didn't have any money to buy chicken like you know to go buy like meat from the butcher I would use what I already had in my freezer now uh, sometimes that's not always ideal but you can get like a nice savory uh, seasonings you can do some more Latin American um, inspired things again it's all about the seasonings that you have if you've got some Asian seasonings you could use that on there to kind of like you know make a more of an Asian uh, Asian meal um, as far as like well a Chinese meal if you've got Korean um, seasonings so when I say that that's, that's kind of what I mean you know I want to break it out Thai you can kind of get this inspired again because it's not authentic it's inspired with what you probably already have in your your house now if you're not a big like you know because everybody is different my sister always has to remember you know not everybody has Korean spices or Chinese spice, you know, they're not all thinking that way. But a lot of people do have soy sauce. Not that I want to, you know, use soy sauce a lot because it's got a lot of salt. But in a pinch, um, you know, you could you could uh, you could cook with a little bit of soy sauce. I would do like a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of lemon. Lemon's always good if you've got some ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger, because sometimes that can be expensive, um, you can get ginger powder. You guys, ginger powder kind of changed my life low key. Now, with these seasonings here, what I'm gonna do. And the reason why I kind of wanted to, to um, the reason why I kind of wanted to saute them first is because I kind of want these flavors to kind of mesh together. I'm not going to use all this for both for the pizzas that I'm going to make. I'm not going to do that. I've got other things I'll make them with, but I am going to put um, some of them on the pizza. And I'm going to be doing the pizza on my quaint and cozy live um, because again, as if you've been following me, I am I'm saving up for that laptop. And uh, so that way I can go TikTok live and Facebook live at the same time. Like that's like the plan. So I don't have to keep switching platforms. But until then, I'll just keep switching platforms. It is a really good practice for me to kind of like do that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. I'm, I'm not going to make my pizza sauce this time. I have made pizza sauce in the past, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> but what I am going to do, what I do like to do with my pizza sauce and again, no one yell at me. I do like to put like a little bit of this Parmesan, uh, this grated Parmesan here. And again, this is the powdered cheese. I do like, cause I, cause it adds like a little bit of, cause it's, it's going to be a thin crust. And so it adds a little bit of that to me, that pizzeria kind of taste to it. Cause I like, I like a little bit of a burnt edge on my pizza. Well, I shouldn't say burnt, but a little bit of a crisp edge on my pizza, especially when I do like the flatbread kind. So this is going to give it like a nice little uh, bit of texture. I like to do that. And so, um, yes, but with the, with the pizza sauce, I just got regular pizza sauce. So get what you can afford because you can always add the thyme 
and the basil because these seasonings are not that expensive like at Walmart they're under uh, I'm in Kansas City they're under two dollars you go to the Dollar Tree they're like under two dollars like generally so again you can use the basil the oregano the Italian seasonings and I do that like I'm gonna be whipping that around onto the sauce and I'll be putting and again those are the seasonings that I used in here and so these are this is almost done I want to go ahead with this right here and I really and I also put some lemon juice in here because uh, this is gonna be this has got to be a uh, really uh, versatile for me this week so I'm gonna be putting this on sandwiches <clears throat> excuse me I might be eating it on its own mixed with other vegetables I do have tomatoes too I can also but I'm not gonna cook the tomatoes tonight since I'm gonna have pizza sauce but I could definitely so you can see the full-on effect um, right here I could definitely add some tomatoes like once that cools off do like some tomatoes sprinkle a little cheese on top of there and have got kind of like a spinach garlic tomato sal salad situation there and um, all from leftovers so if you have any questions you want to reach out to me I'm at quaint and cozy KC on Facebook you can private message me here but I'm gonna I'm gonna show my what do the kids call it my chuggy side and sometimes it's hard for me to access my TikTok inbox because I'll be like someone sent you a message and then I try to access and it's like it's like this whole big production trying to get it to kind of open up so I've kind of given up I'm like well just contact me on Facebook quaint and uh, cozy KC and um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else like this week I kind of had plans on you know last week I did cook macaroni and cheese um, but like in hamburger and it was really really super good and I put some green peppers in it and everything but I think this week I'm just gonna do because I still have some leftover milk so I'm gonna do some macaroni and cheese but I'm gonna do it plain and I think well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I'm gonna make it like a comfort style with this this paprika this Hungarian style and that's gonna give it some like and again it's it's warming up here in the Kansas City area but I do have air conditioning so I can just maybe sit and one of my cardigans and uh, eat my mac and cheese because it's gonna be like a side dish I like to have side dishes because sometimes when you don't have enough side dishes you're just I find myself I'm like oh I gotta eat some snacks because I just have this protein and I didn't you know think ahead of time or I ran out of something or I'm burnt out on salads because a lot of times my side is usually a salad so I kind of need it I'm like oh, I need something a little bit uh, different from that so that way I can have that macaroni and cheese and then maybe switch that off into macaroni and cheese and uh, potatoes but yeah definitely I already have it in my uh, I already have it in my house and that's what I'm really encouraging people whatever you have in your house that that's not expired in the sense of it's not gonna make you sick or anything like that definitely use it and if you have questions about how to make something last and or how to give something like a gourmet spin when it just you know it came from your your cupboard please feel free to reach out to me I'm at quaint and cozy KC and please follow me on that TikTok as well Thank you so much, everyone. Um, have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas and the and the female um, caregivers out there. Like we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, like, there, it's just so important. Caregiving is such a it's such a rewarding thing, but sometimes doesn't always get recognized. So kudos to all the caregivers out there, uh, just doing the dang thing. Okay, take care, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>